All right, so I'm gonna make a basic eye proxy so that we can use it to align our images. So we have a regular sphere 3D. Okay, we have to click on make poly mesh so it's sculptable. I'm gonna go sideways. I'm gonna zoom in into my iris area. And while holding control with the rectangle, mask rectangle, if you don't have it, just hold control and select the mask rectangle. I'm gonna click and drag a selection for the iris. If I get rid of my wireframe, shift F or click on polyframe and hit F to zoom in. So what I wanna do, I wanna select the opposite. I'm gonna hold control, I'm gonna click on the canvas and what we want to do is we want to take this curvature and scale it in the opposite direction so that it goes inwards instead of outwards. So I'm going to select my move tool. I'm going to click and drag from this edge right here. And notice that if I pull this area that's selected, I can increase the size. So what we want to do is we want to go in the opposite direction. I want to go inwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to go and click and drag. I'm going to hold my shift key so that I don't make this mistake right here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to rotate and I'm going to notice that maybe it's too much. No big deal. Go and undo. All right. I'm going to click and drag from the edge and I'm not going to push in as much as before. I'm going to go right here now. All right. There you have it. So I'm going to continue my masking by holding control and with my drag rectangle, I'm going to mask as much as I can. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this cylinder right here and I'm gonna push it in. Same tool, so I'm gonna go for the move tool, but instead of moving from one edge to another edge, I'm gonna move the actual entire thing by clicking in the middle of the tool and I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna push it in like so. So if I hit Q, get out of the tool and then clearing my mask by holding control and then just click and drag, this is what we're gonna get. So this is a really fast way of creating a very simple eye that will give us a really nice shadow. And for this part right here, right, this will work as the dark part of the eyeball. And we can use this as a proxy eye make sure that it matches the eye of the character that you're referencing and then once you're done with this then what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this eye for a more realistic eye with an actual bulging cornea